So let's start off this year's game a little bit different. So obviously there was no draft to allow you to pick up certain players, but I wanted to show you all how my squad currently looked like. I know this is not going to matter at the end of the day because we are about to open up some packs and we're about to get some starter diamonds as well. If you're new here and up new in today's content, make sure to hit that like button or red subscribe button. Also, don't forget to follow me on all social medias at BladeMist. Turn on that notification bell and make sure you click on the channel, community, and vote on the polls on what videos I will upload in the future. So the first thing I wanted to do for you all was actually go to the jumpstart pack and open it up to see whether or not spending 15k stubs on this is worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and buy it and we're gonna open up just that. So let's go to the jumpstart. We're gonna get five rounds, five gold players. I'm gonna be looking for players that I know have a good opportunity of going gold. So here, we have Corey Kluber, he's selling for 3.5k. Keep in mind, you can't sell any of these players, but I do believe that if he, if, he, if he bounces back, especially with the Rangers, he has a good possibility of going diamond. Now, the only thing is he already has that level 80 bronze card that you can pick up, so his live series player really won't be selling for much regardless. Now, my cap is going to be my catcher, so there's no point of getting Wilson Contreras. I think I'm going to go with Chad Green here as their splitter to off-speed pitches. I think that will do 100%. Even though Corey Kluber, as of right now, wouldn't have been a bad pickup either, we're going with Chad Green. Next up, we have Luis Castillo. I believe Luis Castillo 100% has a great opportunity of going to Diamond. JD Martinez, it's a little bit slim since he's a DH and he's not going to be fielding much. And then Liam Hendricks, he also has a great opportunity of going Diamond. To me, it's more important for me to get someone like Luis Castillo, have a starter instantly, but then again, from a competitive standpoint, Liam Hendricks is probably going to be one of the best relievers that I have as of right now. So we're going with Liam Hendricks. Next up, we have either Adi Albies, we have James Paxton, David Peralta, who's always a glitch, especially in left field. And then we have ourselves Kenley Jansen. Now, Kenley, unfortunately, they took away most of his pitches. He only has a three pitch arsenal to me. What I'm going with here is going to be Ozzy Albies because I'm not going to have a second baseman until I have Rogers Hornsby. So why not pick a second baseman that has a good opportunity of going diamond? And then we continue on with the rounds. Eugenio Suarez has a great opportunity of going diamond. Now, unfortunately, I do not believe that he would be able to stay on my team for a long time because we do have Chipper Jones coming. So I could go with Luis. He's He's not, he's, not, he's not staying on my team for a while. Emilio Pagan doesn't really have a great opportunity of going diamond, but it's still there. He has a good arsenal. I'm going to go ahead and pick him up. I have three good bullpen arms so far. And then to finish things off, well, we're going with four bullpen arms. We're going to have a pretty stacked out bullpen to start things off. Why, you might ask? Well, to me, pitching is going to be the most important thing in this game. So... As you guys saw, whether or not it's worth it, I think it could 100% help your team out a bunch. It 100% is going to help my team out a bunch. We're going to have a gold second baseman to start things off. And then we're going to have four bullpen arms as well to start things off with. So it's going to be great. We're going to add three more bullpen arms whenever we get the level five bronze. And stay tuned because up next, we're going to be opening all the packs we got from the digital pre-order bonus. So make sure you hit that like button red subscribe button follow me on all social medias at blade mist turn on that notification bell pay attention to the community tab have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i'll catch you all on the next one peace out